All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice strip. They're certainly getting after it early. And they separate. Oh, nice right hand, John. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bucky. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game with the ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Nurmagomedov. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punch to clinch. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right hand punch from the clinch. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Three minutes to go in the round. Watch knees to the body. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Whiffs on the elbow. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice counter shot there. He's got the single collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. A little single collar tie there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medoff. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Nurmagomedov. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick. He's got to going at it. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big roundhouse now just misses. Elbow now to the hand. That one landed by Nurmagomedov. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. And that one certainly found the target. Big kick 
kick land. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Whoa. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. All right, single collar tie now. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Manoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Daxton. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And they separate. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now he's got that tight punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed it. Oh, late defense on the takedown. It scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Nice punch lands over the top. He landed that inside leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Boy, tie plump. And just misses with that big right hand. Huge block there. Single collar tie now. Ooh, big shot land. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Looking to land the right just out of range. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice, sneaky head kick. Good stick. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Nice kick there by Nermago Meta. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. Nice. 
great punch. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high ground. Oh, oh he takes it from high. What a fantastic takedown. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Ten minutes in the bush. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Lost that round. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage on the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Nurmagomedov. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Got the single collar tie. Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Punch over the top. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And they set it. Visibly limping here. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly, it's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus spits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. All right, single collar tie now. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch. Punch to the head in the clinch. Just unable to quite find that range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good.
Punch coming, it's blocked. Big leg kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, eats a knee. Nurmagomedov's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. And they separate. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. All right, Muay Thai clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Beautiful take down lane. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, which is truly mixing up the target. Tight to behold. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand punch from the clinch. Battle for position here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Don't stop. Keep going. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Tags him with a flush left. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch from the clinch. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Just misses with the jet. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. <laughs> Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Single collar tie now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick.
Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo deal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you? And he gets it. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch him. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch it. And this might just be a matter of time. It dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, and that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, Habib Bergliana. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission.